Hello sports fans and baseball fans out there, especially fans of Stratomatic Baseball. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with another Atlantic League game for you, and we are going to go to the standings and see where we are in the season. So, as you can see, we are almost at the end of the season. We are 79 and 77, nine and a half games back of the Kansas City Royals in the Central Division of the American League, and um, and we are eight and a half games behind Cleveland. So, the modified White Sox, and that is to say, the 1994 White Sox with White Sox from the past, uh, and a couple from the future, uh, like Aaron Bummer, and um, guys from the past like Bill Melton and Carlton Fisk have managed to only be just a little above 500 and nine and a half games out. Today we're going to play the AL West leading Seattle Mariners, who we have not played yet on camera, I don't believe, in this season. They're 81 and 75 and leading the West. 81 and 75 leads the West for them. And not only that, but they're 12 games better than California, who's only 69 and 87 and in second place in that division. So, um, yeah, no playoffs for us, but it was a, uh, I guess it was a decent season. I mean, we're going to probably finish above 500. A um, few more games left, so um, let's get to the action. Uh, we will play play today, and uh, you can see on the screen it's going to be Alex Fernandez, our ace. He always ends up being the guy I record. That's just by um, coincidence. It's not necessarily by design, although those are games we have a better chance of winning. And he'll be going up against Dave Fleming of the Mariners. So we're going to get underway here. Um, we actually want me to be human and him to be the computer. And um, our lineup is going to be Patsy Daugherty in left field, Darren Jackson in right, Frank the Big Hurt Thomas at first base, Belton Bill Melton will be at third, Carlton Fisk will be the catcher batting fifth, Lance Johnson will be in center field batting sixth, Julio, down by the schoolyard, Franco will be the DH. Ozzie Gein will be at short, and Joey Cora is the second baseman with, as I said, Fernandez pitching. For Seattle, they will have Dave Fleming pitching. Their lineup will be Mike Blowers leading off and playing left field for some reason. Felix Fermin will be the shortstop batting second. Uh, Ter I think that's Terry Harper at third base batting third. Ken Griffey Jr. will be in center field batting in the cleanup spot. Jay Bunsen Buner will be in right field. Elvin Davis will be the DH. Luis Soho will be at second and playing uh, and batting seventh. Mike Hegan will be the first baseman, and he is a, uh, a Seattle Mariner from the past. He did not play in 1994. And Dan Wilson will do the catching for them. And with all of that having been said and out of the way, we are ready to go. As you can see, we are at the um, Seattle Superdome. What? <laughs> I don't know what it was called. I forget what it was called. Let me see. Wait a minute. We we must have the Kingdom. There we go. Yeah, we're at the Kingdom. So Patsy Doherty is leading off, and he is going to hit a ground ball out to second base to Soho for the first out can see Dave Fleming over there and now we've got Darren Jackson batting and Darren Jackson is hitting 312 for us on the season and he's going to strike out see he's been a key player for us this year and Frank the big hurt Thomas and he comes in uh hitting 329 with 49 home runs he's looking for his 50th jack and did he get it Maybe, maybe, and no, Ken Griffey Jr. snagged it and robbed him of his 50th home run. So Mike Blowers is leading off here in the bottom of the first against Fernandez, and he's going to hit a single. 
So Mike Blowers takes it right back through the box for a hit. Vermeen is the batter. Let's see what he does. He is going to take it right back through the box for a base hit himself. And so now we're all of a sudden in trouble with Tommy Harper up. Now, Tommy Harper is also a Mariner from the past, from the 70s. And he rips the ball the other way and uh, knocks in the Mariners' first run. We have no outs, two runners on, and Ken Griffey Jr., the batter. He is, however, going to hit the ball out to center field or to the center field where we have our gold glover Johnson playing. He does catch the ball and Bunsen Buner, Jay Buner, is up and he strikes out. So maybe Fernandez can get out of this with only allowing the one run. Elvin Davis, though, is going to rip a single. Let's see if they can get a run out of that one. They don't. So they hold the runners. I mean, I didn't think they would. And then Soho is going to hit a fly ball to right field. So Fernandez, despite allowing a lot of traffic on the bases, does indeed um, only hold them to the one run. So we've got Belton Bill Melton up, and he's going to hit the ball out to Soho. Not a great fielding second baseman, though, and he, but he does make the play, and Carlton Fisk is the batter. Carlton Fisk uh, on the year is hitting 209 with eight home runs. And right there, he is going to fly out to Griffey. Which brings up Lance Johnson, the center fielder, our very good, excellent defensive center fielder, and he's going to ground out. No, he gets it by. Soto did not make the play. So Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is up, and he is going to hit a ground ball to short. That's for mean. He is a three. But he did make the play. So uh, it's one nothing top uh, or bottom of the second. Fernandez goes out to deal to Hegan. And Hegan is going to fly out to center field. You can see him in his uh, Seattle Pilots uh, uniform, it looks like. Uh, Dan Wilson, the catcher. Very good catcher, too. Um, he was a key to those good Seattle teams of the 90s. And that is going to be a fly out to right for him. Which brings up Mike Blowers, their leadoff hitter, and he is going to strike out. So Fernandez has a much easier time of it in the second inning, but we are still losing one nothing as we send Ozzie Guillen up to bat against Fleming. He's going to hit the ball back at Fleming. Let's see if Fleming makes the play, and he doesn't. So Guillen is aboard with Joey Cora up, and Joey Cora is going to rip a single. And we could try to extend it. I am, you know what? I'm going to try to do it. I mean, what the heck? And so Patsy Doherty is up. And he is going to hit the ball down to third base where Tommy Harper is not a good third baseman. And uh, a run does score. The tying run scores. And Cora goes to second. And Darren Jackson is up. And Darren Jackson is going to knock him in with a uh, long single. So Darren Jackson's at first with the big hurt, looking for his 50th homer, and he's going to fly out to right on that. So that's going to be the second out of the third inning with Chicago ahead, the good guys ahead 2-1. to one. And Belton, Bill Melton, what happened here? And it's going to be a pass ball, and Bill Mel Melton is up, and he is going to strike out. So we are going to the... Bottom of the third, and uh, Felix Vermeen, the batter. And he's going to ground it out to third base where Bill Melton is. He makes the play. Tommy Harper, one for one on the day, and he's going to ground out to Ozzie Guillen. And that brings up Ken Griffey, the dangerous Ken Griffey Jr., and he homers to tie the game is what's going to happen there. So, yeah. I, I was thinking of walking him, just crossed my mind for a split second, but I said, no, let's not do that, but the game is tied with Jay Buner up, and he will strike out. But they did tie the game on a Griffey home run. So we're going to the top of the fourth with Carlton Fisk up. Like I said, eight home runs on the year. Here he's going to line out to shortstop, though. One down quickly, and Lance Johnson is the batter, and he is going to line out to first base. 
So there's two down. And that is going to bring up Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco, and he is going to line out to third base. So we're still tied at two, going to the bottom of the fourth inning here. Uh, Fernandez dealing to Elvin Davis, who he strikes out. That brings up Luis Soho, and Soho is going to ground the ball back out to second base, and Cora is going to make the play for two down and Mike Hegan, the batter. And Mike Hegan is going to hit a single. Mike Egan is aboard with two down, and Dan Wilson, the batter, and he is going to strike out, so Fernandez gets us out of the fourth inning. We are tied at two, and Ozzie Gian up. And Ozzie Gian is going to fly out to left field. Blowers will make that play. One down, and Joey Cora up. Joey Cora is going to hit a single. He's one for one, and now he's two for two. Wait a minute. What happened there? Okay. All right, he sends it right back up the box for the hit. He's two for two on the day, and Patsy Daugherty. And, of course, Patsy Daugherty played for the White Sox way back in the day, and he is going to be out. On a double play, the smooth double play by Seattle gets them out of the inning. We're down in, now in the bottom of the fifth. Tied at two, and Blowers is going to strike out. Fernandez strikes out Blowers to lead um, off the inning. Fermin is the next batter, and he is going to hit a ground ball out to second base. Cora will make that play for the second out. And Tommy Harper is the batter, and Tommy Harper is going to go deep. I can't believe this. Tommy Harper taking Alex Fernandez out of the park for the Seattle lead at 3-2. So it's not as if, really, that Fernandez is pitching that poorly. And here's Griffey, who's also homered before. He's one for two, and now he's two for three with this single between second and first. Which brings up Jay Buhner. And Jay Buhner is going to strike out. So we're going to the top of the sixth. We're down 3-2 now. Darren Jackson, we need another run. Darren Jackson leads us off with the single. He's going to be two for three on the day here. And I believe that brings up Thomas. Yes, it does. Frank, the big hurt. Thomas is going to hit into a double play. No, he didn't. All right, I thought that would be a double play, but uh, that's the way it looked. But uh, it's not, and so Bill Melton is the batter, and he is going to ground out to shortstop, so he'll be... Safe on the fielder's choice, but eliminate Jackson at second. And Carlton Fisk is the batter, and he is going to fly out. So we've got some firepower in this lineup. Down by one run, we're still very much in the game. But we're going to the bottom of the sixth, where Fernandez really has to hold us where we are. And uh, Elvin Davis is going to ground out to Cora. Soho is the batter, and Soho is going to walk. He draws a walk. Soho is aboard with one down, and Mike Hegan the batter. And Mike Hegan is going to strike out. Fernandez struck him out. And Dan Wilson is the batter. And he is going to hit a ground ball to third base. That's Melton, but he's not a good defensive third baseman. And that is exactly what happens. He, he boofs it. And then uh, Fernandez walks Blowers to load the bases up with two down and Fermin the batter. Thank God Fermin is a bad hitter. He does pop out to Guillen to end the inning. So there's no further damage done there. But we are still uh, losing by a run with Lance Johnson the batter. And he's going to strike out. That brings up Julio Franco, and Franco is going to draw the walk, so he gets a board. That brings up Ozzie Guillen, and he is going to pop out. He pops out to short, so there's two down, 
and Joey Cora is a batter, two for two on the day. That's going to be a catch a card X, though, and that's Wilson. And Wilson makes an error and allows the runner to hit the bases, and so you've got Patsy Doherty walking. We have the bases loaded up, and who is up but Darren Jackson, who is actually pretty good. And they bring in relief. They're going to bring in Bill Risley. Thank God we got rid of uh, Fleming. But Darren Jackson grounds the ball out to shortstop. And... Um, we don't score. So we're still down by a run. I'm still going to have Fernandez pitching out here. And he's going to allow a fly ball by Harper to center field for an out. So the one down quickly in the seventh, in the Seattle seventh, with Griffey up. And Griffey's going to single. So Griffey's three for four on the day with a home run. He has been a fire in the face of the White Sox for today. Buner is the batter, and he is going to ground out to shortstop into a double play, and so we're out of the inning. Which brings up Thomas, and Thomas strikes out. Bill Risley striking out Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Melton is the batter, and Melton is going to strike out. And that brings up Carlton Fisk. And Carlton Fisk is going to hit the ball out to Fermin. Let's see if Fermin can make the play. And no, it gets through. And so Lance Johnson is the batter. They're going to go to the bullpen, it looks like. And they bring in Bobby Ayala, their closer. And he is going to foul out to first base, Johnson will. So I'm going to keep uh, Fernandez pitching, especially since if we can't get one run, this would be the last inning for us in the field. Davis hits a fly out to Doherty. Soho is up, and Soho is going to hit a single. So Soho will be aboard here in the eighth inning, bottom of the eighth, with one down and Hegan up. And Hegan's going to hit the ball out to Cora, who should turn a double play here and get us out of the inning. Twin killing. So the question is, could we get a run off of Ayala? We're leading off with Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco, and in his in one of his in in his column, he's going to ground out to second base. Ozzie Guillen is up, and Ozzie Guillen's going to strike out. So we're down to our last out to try to hope to win this game. Or come back, and Cora is the batter, and Cora is going to strike out, and so we do not do that. Very close game. We lose it three to two, though. We'll take a look at the box score. Um, Fernandez went the distance. He went eight. He allowed eleven hits, walked two, and allowed three runs on 142 pitches thrown. But uh, Fleming gets the win. Risley gets the hold, and Ayala gets the save. And Ayala went one and a third uh, perfect innings, striking out two and allowing nobody on base. And so that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.